guys, Carcass here. Welcome back to our Pokemon Platinum Forest Lock. Last time, we took on the gym leader Rourke. We beat him. He had a full team of grass types, which is kind of funny if you think about it because he's usually a rock type gym leader. But since we randomized the game, apparently they gave him grass types and three Pokemon last week to that. Lovely. And we also took on Team Galactic at Jubilee, at Jubilee City and the outfits, they ugly, okay? And then something interesting happened uh, during last episode. Uh, this is probably going to be the back so that you don't see, but I'm going to switch these Pokemon real quick so I can give uh, a team recap, basically. And I'm going to check that everything is recording. Yep, everything is recording. Good, good, good. Okay. So we got Shell Shock. The War Turtle, our starter, of course, with serious nature of uh, often doses off. You know, he he he's kind of sleepy, you know, kind of like me. Happily eats anything. I mean, that's kind of me too, I guess. I mean, some foods I'm still a little bit like I don't like, but at the same time I'm getting used to them, so it's like, hey, it's whatever. Happily eats anything. Yeah, his HP is all 56. Attack and de attack is 30. Defense is 39. Special attack is 31. Special defense is 36. Not bad. It's speed 29. The Torn ability and his moves set is Bite, Water Gun, Bubble, and Withdraw. Next up we have Zoe, the Thampy, Calm Nature, Thoroughly Cunning, you know, likes bitter food. You know, that's how Zoe is. But decent stats, alright, and she still hasn't picked up any item, but she did pick up last time, so that was cool. And her move set is Odor Sleuth, Odor, <clears throat> sorry, <clears throat> Odor Sleuth, Take Down, Flail, and Defense Curl. Next up we have Terry, the, wait, we have the dark chaos the destroyer of this world the one who's going to bring end to all humanity terry the wingle <laughs> i'm sorry it's just uh, the whole joke the meme thing that i did you know with the dance you know when he found a seagull and he s said he shall name you terry terry the seagull and it's like oh yeah haven't they gotten bigger you know over the years it's like oh the seagull nation has begun, you know. <laughs> but anyway, sorry, the Wingle. Impish nature likes to, uh, likes to relax. Hey, me too. Like sour food. Uh, the stats are nice. Uh, the speed is two, uh, 23, though. That's all right. With key and ability. And Moosehead is Growl, Water Gun, and uh, Supersonic. Then we have Bonk, our Kratinos. Cool name, though, because I like it. He likes to headbutt things. That's why he goes Bonk. Calm nature. Why did he have to be calm nature? Capable of taking hits. That's cool. He's, he, 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 can, he can take hits and then dish back them out with his head. Like, yeah. Like spare for as well. Attack uh, is pretty high. And speed is honest, honestly decent. Which sucks because he's calm nature. If he would have been something else, then... Whoa, I lost my voice. <clears throat> Sorry about that. If he would have had another nature, then he would be, in my opinion, a little bit better. Like, I don't know, adamant or some attack boosting nature. There's not a nature that minuses the attack, okay? That's what I think. With Mole Breaker and Moveset is Headbutt, Leer, Focus Energy, uh, Focus Energy, and Rock Smash. Now, what happened last episode, for those of you who have seen it, you know what we caught. But for those who had, who tuned in to this episode, I suggest you would go and watch the, the, uh, the last episode if you want to see the whole magic thing. But since if you don't give a damn and you want to see it now, we caught, last time we caught a goddamn Palkia! The luck! The luck that we have in this Nuzlocke Nuzlo variant is insane! And if you think about it, because last episode, that was the first encounter I ran into. And the other Pokemon that I ran into was a Horsey, a Sharpedo, I think. Yes, a Horsey and a Sharpedo. And. They are part of the of the forest types. And the fact that we got so lucky and caught a goddamn legendary. Where we could have caught a goddamn... A, uh, yeah, uh, a seahorse Pokemon or a shark Pokemon. But no, we caught a goddamn god of dimensions and space. Neptune, Palkia, Gentle Nature, Strong Willed, of course. Heck, he's a goddamn legendary. Yuck! Like spitter food, the stats, woof! Stats, goddamn, the special attack is 47, 42. Special defense is 42. Goddamn, these stats are looking good. They're looking good. 
and the moveset is Dragon Breath, Scare, Ruby Face, and Water Pulse. And then when he rolls up into level 20, he's going to have Ancient Power. And of course, the last member we have that we caught just before the, not before the episode ended, but like 10 minutes before the episode ended last time, I guess, was Carla the Scorpion. Now, she's going to be a great addition to the team because half of our team is weak to grass types. That's not good. And we have two Pokemon that are taking neutral hits from grass types. So, she's really a good team member because she's she quad resists grass, which is insane. That's good. Scarlet level 8. Modest Nature likes to run. That's cool. Likes dry food. And the, ooh, the defense is 21. That's good. And speed, like, like, that's actually really good. It sucks that she has Modest Nature, but that is what it is. That's pretty new. Sniper powers up. Uh, sni ability Sniper powers up moves if they become critical hits. That's cool. Oh, shit. I've talked for six minutes about Team Recap. I'm sorry about that. And moveset is Bite, Poison Sting, Leer, and Knock Off. Now, we got TM bug, uh, TM50, which is Bug Bite, because I randomized the TMs. I wish she could have learned that, because then she would have had a Stab Bug-type move. But, unfortunately, she could not learn it, because probably that's a move that, that it can never learn. But I swear to God, if Drapion can learn it, then that's... Uh, but anyways, so are we gonna, what are we going to do in this episode? We're going to take on... We're off. Cool. We're gonna take on. We're gonna go to the Valley Windworks. See what's going on over there. Take on Team Galactic and then progress forward towards Eternal City, where our next gym awaits, which is of course Gardenia. But first, let's go to the Pocket. Uh, wait, did I heal up? I did heal up. Yeah, I did heal up. But also, I'm gonna put Carl up front to level her up because she's gonna be a valuable team member. Because I looked up when Scorpion evolves to Drapion, or however you say it, Drapion, whatever Drapion. Scorpion evolves into Drapion at level 40. So we're gonna be stuck with a Scorpion for a long time, and I think that's actually kind of good, considering the fact that we have three, half of our members are weak to grass types. And then two of our other members take neutral damage from grass types. So Carl is gonna be a valuable member in this team, definitely. So it's good that we got that. But anyways, let's check what items we could get. We have 2002. Hmm, we got a lot of Pokemon. Uh, Super Potion, we still have three. Uh, potions, we're still good to go. We could go buy... M One more Super Potion. One more Potion. A Pokeball... Let's buy one more. Yes, okay, that's good, that's good. Uh, oh, we could sell Snore, because I'm not going to do anything with Snore. 750. Uh, good. That's lit. Okay, let's see what this other dude has to say. Or, what this guy has to say. Uh, Blue Mail, Heal Ball, Net Ball. Um, ooh! Now, Net Ball would work very well in this Nuzlocke variant, because what well, we can't get, like, Water types and bug types are part of the force type, so I'm gonna buy actually one net ball. It might come in handy. That's actually good. So here we gotta get. So only in this place we can get net balls. Okay, that's good to know. That's good to know. But anyways, uh, record image. Okay, you're always checking that everything's working, all that stuff. But yeah. So, uh, this episode we're gonna go to the Rally of the Wind Works, but first we're gonna see what's around here. See what? Uh, Pokemon or something? Hmm, honey. That's people. And you see there, there is Team Galactic. We cannot go up there. We have to first go to the Valley Windworks and then come back here so that we can enter this path that they're blocking because they're going to be gone. And then they're going to drop a key which lets us go back into Valley Windworks. But I'm still going to talk to them. Grunt 1. Aren't we Team Galactic? We're us and we're assigned here? Standing around among flowers. This doesn't seem cool. Uh, this, this is a... <clears throat> this doesn't seem all that cool. Hey now. Don't complain, this is a pretty decent assignment. But bug, uh, bug and grass types Pokemon so creep me out. I don't like being here either. It's funny how I like bug Pokemon in, I like, I think bug, uh, bug type Pokemon in this jet, uh, in Pokemon are cool, but then bugs in real life, I'm like, get the fuck away from me. <laughs> get the fuck away from me. I simply love it here. The atmosphere is so uplifting. You came to get emotionally healed too, didn't you? Yikes, whoa. <laughs> Drawing to the ground, like we're getting way too real here, okay? Oh yeah, oh, yeah I talked to you already. Uh, let's see if we can find some items here. Ooh, actually, I'm gonna s save real quick because if something would happen at one point where we heal mistakenly at 
a place where we're not allowed to heal, I'm gonna then quickly reset the game, you know. Reopen, you know, reset the game. Let's see, um... Nah, I don't think here's... Okay, um... Thurma Town was a barren, desolate hill long ago, avoided even by Pokemon. People started planting flowers on it, on it because it was such a sad place, but nothing would grow. People didn't know what to do, and then one day, someone expressed thanks for the blessings of nature. Then, the whole hill burst into bloom. I think they're talking about Shaman. Do you think it's, uh, do you think, hold on. Do you think it's cute how Pokemon pluck berries? Yes. Yes, you agreed. Here's a TM for Mupluck. Oh, but it's not Mupluck, Team 88. Okay, um, it could be something else. Ooh. Let's see what the TM is. The TM 88 is good. Lunar Dance! Wait, 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 wait. Um, Lunar Dance. The user fates. Now see, Lunar Dance. Hold on, I want to look this up. Lunar Dance, I've heard it from somewhere. I'm not sure where, but... Lunar Dance. Oh, it's Cresselia. Um... Okay, it's only... Yeah, only there by Cresselia. I was thinking like, oh, Lunar Dance. That sounds like a Cresselia kind of move. Um, user faints in return the Pokemon taking its place will have its status and HP fully restored. Now... I could sell this, but again, I'm thinking in a worst case scenario where we would be losing the lock and we lost so many Pokemon. Like, I'm thinking like at the end game, and it's like there's no other choice we can win unless we somehow get a free heal and a free status heal. Maybe Lure and Dance would come in handy on some Pokemon, like we would sacrifice them for the sake of the last lock. I don't know. Who can learn it? That's the question. Terry. Terry the Wingle. <laughs> the Lunar Dance to help us all. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, okay. Anyways, let's get let's get continued. Because I don't wanna this episode I wanna try and keep it like as short as possible. Not like like for 25 minutes to 40 minutes. That's the plan. You should plant some flowers for your own too. Yay for flowers. I'm yay for flowers. Can I talk with you, mister? I want to get to some flowers from the Floroma Mito. Oh yeah, that's the place we gotta go to. But some Team Galactic guys in snazzy outfits came along. Keep it long. Uh, those galactic guys went to the middle past these flowers here, but we can't go there because they're blocking the way. There's an overbear. Want to pick it? Yes. Okay, that's good. That's good. Uh, we're gonna grab this here. Cherry berry. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Uh, the berries you pick can be used as food for Pokemon. Also, you can trade them in the, at the florists. They'll change berry for your accessories to dress up your Pokemon. Well, I'm not gonna dress up. There's one. What's it? This girl over here, she gives us the... Okay, please water berries using this spray dump water. Oh yeah, there we got the spray dump. That's cool. Yeet. Okay, and I'm gonna give an orange berry to um, one of our Pokemon, and I think that's gonna be Carla. Yes. We're gonna give Carla an orange berry. That's gonna be all good. And also we're gonna get another encounter in... Yeah, on this route. Route 205. Or technically not 205 at the Valley Windworks, so that's gonna be cool. But we can't even get an encounter here until we take care of the Wind Valley Works because we're not allowed to pass because there's gonna be Team Galactic Grunts in the way. Oh, speaking of something I can talk about, I, I guess I should progress with the episode. Help, help, trainer! Please, I want to see my papa. My papa and I lived at the Valley Windworks, but then a whole bunch of people dressed like spacemen came. They kicked me out, and they're making my papa do something. Please, trainer, I miss my papa. Don't worry, girl, we're gonna save your dad. I'm bringing you home safely. Oh, yeah, here's Valley Windworks, so we could get another encounter here. Oh, shit, I went to the grass. We could get an encounter here. Question is, do I want to get an encounter now? I mean, I guess. Yeah, let's get an encounter. So... Our Valley, Wor Valley Windworks encounter- Oh, no, 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 I'm actually gonna take on this guy first. Watch this. Master Ball! It's, it's, it's a Pokeball. <laughs> Let's relax now, come on. Okay. I'm actually gonna take on the Team Galactic Grunt, and then later on come back and do the encounter. I think I'm gonna do the encounter after we take care of all the whole uh, Valley Windworks. But then I, I gotta- I have to remember that. Don't you- Don't you dare go into the Valley Windworks! I got order to keep everyone out if you're not part of Team Galactic. You're giving me a look that makes me think you're gonna try to get in. Okay, then, you'll have to bow me for it. Let's go! Take it on Team Galactic Grunts. By the way, your outfits, they're ugly! <laughs> I'm 
sorry. I think Tigak is a cool thing. Oh, Swellow. A level 14. Ah, uh, yikes. Carla, get the fuck out. Get, get out. Um, Neptune, I choose you. Yeah. A Palkia, what's up? What's up? <laughs> like, Palkia the god. Oh, god. Focus energy. Okay. Now, if this would be Jericho 1 mechanics, focus energy would not be good at all. Uh, let's go for Water Pulse. Oh, no. N -n 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 Swell. No. Ooh, snap. Okay, that was actually good. I'm going to heal with a Super Potion. Yeah, that's a bad thing he got a crit. That's actually a bad thing he got a crit. Oh, the fool of a took. He growls. He growls. What a fool. What a fool. Like, wait. These NPCs, they could be attacking me and try to end the lot. Is he going to crit, crit, crit? Okay, no, he does not get a crit again. Wow. 27 damage. Yo, you don't mess with Swe Swellow, though. A level 14 Swellow. Again, I think he would normally be level... 13 or 12? I'm not sure, but he's now level 14. I mean, because we raised the whole level lot. Like, we modified the level so it's higher by 10%, so... It's key. It's just level 14, that's good. Whew! Yeah, like, I'm really supposed to win with a Pokemon like this. Yo, you almost... <laughs> you critted my legendary and almost killed it. I mean, hey. Isn't that just great? Getting owned by some kid. But you can't do a thing if I lock myself in with my works key. That's right, the other works key's not here. My cohorts in Flower Patch have the only other one. Ha <laughs> ha! In that sense, I'm no longer the loser. You do realize you compromised your whole mission by telling me where I can get the other key. And I know where the other key is. You do realize that. ka -ching! And the motherfucker locked me out. This is... We're having a great day today. Oh, no, 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 go walk, well, don't walk into the grass, because we're not going to get an encounter now. We're going to focus on getting through this now. So now we're going to run back to Florida Town. We're going to heal up real quick. Yeah. Hello, welcome to the Pokemon Center. Yes. Heal up. Yes. Do, 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 do. I guess, I, I guess I can tell now about the whole thing, because I was thinking, like, I was going to say something, but I'm like, oh, yeah, we're focusing on the episode. But I guess I, the thing I can tell you is that I had the craziest dream, because, again, when you have dreams, you cannot control your dreams. So you're going to have all sorts of dreams. You don't know what it is, but it's like, hey, it's their only dreams. You can't help that. So I had a dream. Some things happened, and then at some point, more, more at the end, um, there was Hun in some restaurant, right? There was some fighting going on. I'm like, oh, what's happening? There was Hun, like Ninja Fight, like, oh, going across the 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 walls. I was like, oh, all that shit, you know, fighting. And there was Hun from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, aka the 2003 version, which, in my opinion, it's the better one. That's my opinion. Uh, and he was fighting, and also the lead, he's also the, like, he is, Hun is, I would say, Shredder's personal bodyguard and also the leader of the Purple Dragons gang. And he was fighting... I don't know why. <laughs> he was fighting Giovanni from Pokemon. The leader of Team Rocket. Now, I don't know why he was doing all that. I don't know what the fuck was going on in my dream, but... Something happened, basically. I don't know why they were fighting, but... They had some problems. <laughs> it's actually insane. I don't know why they did. I I, I don't know why I dream, I dream something like that. But hey, you can't do anything about dreams. You always gonna dream something weird. Okay, and here we go. Crap. Enough arguing. Hand over those, this that sweet honey. Do as we say. The Galactic, will, uh, the Galactic, Team Galactic will have that honey. We must have it so uh, we must have it to attract poke to attract poke. <coughs> ah! God damn it! What I can't speak today. <clears throat> we must have it to attract Pokemon in great numbers. <gasps> Hey, this kid is a witness. What we'll do? Oh, uh, oh, it's not the same two people. Oh, well, whatever. Say, so what we'll do? We don't need the brat running off to get help. The solution's simple. We ensure that brat stays quiet. Oh, it's a double battle, right? Right? Oh, no, it's one battle. Yeah. Take like let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dratini. Level 14 over... Wait. 
Oh no 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 uh Dratini I'm pretty sure it has Dragon Rage and if so we are actually screwed No please okay Generation 7 it gets Dragon Rage to level 15 This is not Generation This is not Generation 7 This is Generation 4 Please, for the love of God, do not be under level. Okay. If it would be one more level, there's a chance it would have Dragon Rage. Um, who are we gonna go into? I mean, we can one shot with Neptune. I'm gonna go into Neptune. Now he has Twister though, so I hope he's not gonna like do crit, crit Twister me and be like, aha! Okay, yeah, yeah, that's good. Dragon Breath, yeah! Take that, Dragon Breath! Super effective. Also, when we get to the whole Eternal Forest, when Cheryl is gonna be accompanying us, I was thinking, again, let me know in the comment section below what you think, but I was thinking I was gonna do so that I'm only allowed to catch in Eternal For Forest, like I'm allowed to get my encounter at the Eternal Forest after that I've gotten through um, the whole Eternal Forest with Cheryl because I'm thinking the risk of, you know, oh, we get some encounters that is part of the Force types and then she's gonna kill it and it's like oh there goes for starter plus she's gonna be healing our teams it's like i don't want things to get complicated so instead i'm thinking we're gonna let her we're just gonna do the thing we need to do is we get her out of the forest and then after that we're gonna come back to the forest and then get our encounter that's what i'm thinking but we'll see but i don't think that will happen this episode or no okay good yeah good this is why i'm gonna be stuck as a grunt forever i mean hey one day, if you train your Dratini enough, you're gonna have a Dragonite. Think you're gonna rank up in the ranks? This is so lame. They're going to dump my pay. I'm up next. Wait, you didn't even switch places. What the heck? I'm up next. <laughs> Bally, you right after my cohort weakened you gives me the edge. One, your outfits stay ugly. Two, I have a Palkia. What are you gonna do? Have a Dialga? Hitmon Lee? Hitmon Lee! Oh, he's level 12. Uh, ooh. Now, Carla could actually take care of this. Uh, Hitmon Lee. Because I hope he doesn't have Blaze Kick. Oh, that's where he learns it later on. Uh, oh, we should be fine. He only has fighting type moves. So this is actually going to be some good level up experience for Carla. So... Poison Sting. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no, he has revenge. Oh god damn. Uh Poison Sting. Oh no. Can we Can we poison him please? Uh I'm gonna go into. Well, who has better defenses? Uh, 30, 39. Uh, we could go into Cell Shock. Oh, yikes. Uh, I'm gonna withdraw. With two withdraws, I'm gonna heal up with potion. With a potion. I'm gonna speed a little bit this up, so I'm sorry if I. If you don't like me speeding up, I'm gonna speed this up a little bit. So, Water Gun? Yeah. Meditate. Whoa. Critical hit! Let's go, Shell Shock! Just like putting in some work. It's, it's gonna be a Spearow. Okay. Well, it's good we switched out. Uh, let's go for Water Gun. Yeah. Almost one shots. That's good. Shell Shock being strong. We almost lost Shell Shock into, into a goddamn Earth Ring. That's insane. Like two episodes ago? No, not two episodes ago. Uh, no, 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 because this episode... 
No, no, yeah, this is episode five. See, I get always a little bit confused, but oh well, it is what it is. This part's tough, like really, really tough. Tougher than I can put into words, and I know a lot of words. We're done here. We're, we're done for here. Let's get back to the valley wind works. Oh, what's this thing? They have, they seem to have forgotten it. It's a works key. It must be for the valley wind works. It's of no use to me. You may as well have it. So now we got obtained the works key, so that's all cool. Thank you. You surely saved me. Those ghouls were trying to rob me of my sweets. Sweet honey. Oh, my sweet, sweet honey. They sure were weird, though. You saw, you say, I mean, you saw how they were dressed. <laughs> now, I haven't heard, now, I think the team that has the worst fashion sense, or I mean, the team that, in my opinion, has the, in my opinion, like, the evil team that's the least favorite look to me is Team Flair, because they're just, they're just in agent red suits, like, what? Like, I get it, because they're fans, you know, fashion, uh, but it's like, Come on, do better, please. Please, do better. Like, Team Galactic is way better than Team Flair in terms of fashion, but they're dissing Team Galactic because they look like spacemen. It's like, is that a problem? Or spacemen and space women? But is that a problem? Is that a problem, sir? What they were saying didn't make a whole lot of sense either. Oh, I need thank you. This sweet, sweet honey. Go on, take a whole lot. So we could put a honey. Slider that honey on the sweet smelling tree. It might attract Pokemon. We could put honey on this tree over here and get an encounter later on. Uh, I'm gonna save real quick here as well, just so that I know, just so that nothing happens. That, oh, we, if we would mistakenly heal, it's like, okay, I'm gonna reset the game. I think this guy gives us TM. TM? The flowers that grow in the fields are here, special. You see how they're moving vivid, the flowers, also somewhere else in Sino. You can thank Pokemon for that. What does this kid give? If you put honey on a tree, check back later if it's rustling. If it is, it's quite often a rare Pokemon. Gets my hopes up if I see that happening. Now, I'm not sure if we're gonna do this, because I could put it here, but then if we could later on be at another place, see there's another path over there, and if there's, a, oh, there's an item over there, we can't get there. But if there's another, like, grass there, I'm gonna encounter it there. But anyways, let's get going. And also, that's one interesting thing, is, I'm gonna heal up real quick. Yeah. I'm gonna heal up. Uh, yeah. There we go. This one is thing. I'm reading a book right now that is called, because I also never read books, but I'm reading a book called 101 Very Finnish Problems. And the Foreigners Guide to Surviving Finland. Now, it's interesting. My mom was thinking, hey, maybe this is a cool book that I would maybe want to read. I don't read books, but this is just interesting. Like, kind of cool. It was an interesting book. I'm still reading it, of course, there's a few chapters. It's kind of funny because it's a guy who's from from the UK that, I don't know, did he, I think he's staying in Finland, I think, and he loves Finland. And it's just cool to see, uh, interesting to just read from another person's perspective, you know, that doesn't live in Finland, what they think of Finland now after that they spent a long time here and love the place. And it's just interesting to see what they thought of it when they came here and, you know, when they were living here. That's So that's all cool. But also I noticed how it has also affected my sleep. Like, how it's affected my, yeah, my sleep. Uh, I don't know if you could say it like that. I don't think that's the right pronunciation. But anyways, you know, how I'm sleeping. It's affected my, like, actually my, uh, like, my sleepers and all that stuff. And, oh, we got a lot of po uh, potions. Oh, hello. I'm going to put a, buy another potion. Oh, we have that much. So I'm going to buy two potions then. There you go. Yes. Okay. So, it has affected my sleep in the sense that I read now, for two days now, I read every night, like, few chapters of the book. I closed the book, and I went to sleep, and I fall asleep immediately. It's weird, compared to the amount of times now, uh, during my life, where I haven't read a book, it's taking me a little bit longer to, to fall asleep. And it's interesting that now that I'm actually now reading a book, it's taken me a lot much such an easier time to fall asleep which is interesting in my opinion because the thing is also with my mom I, one thing if you want to know um, <laughs> I, I usually don't talk about my mom in videos but a fun fact about my mom is that she usually reads when she goes to sleep and that makes her fall asleep much easier and it's interesting that now I have the same thing and I'm like huh who would have thought but it's interesting to, to find out these kind of cool things but yeah anyways 
Uh, we're gonna storm. I uh, recorded for 30 minutes, so I'm gonna try and maybe I'm gonna end this episode after I be very worse, or at least we're gonna try and head towards turn of fourth, honestly, and get an encounter. But anyways, so we got the work scheme. We're gonna go into uh, way worse, but that's something cool I just want to bring up. So it's, it's cool. It's affecting my sleep, so I'm sleeping a lot better and easier. So that's that's actually good. It's not from the inside. Use the work ski. Yes. Pitching. The door of the Valley Wind Works opened. Let's hope they don't have like big strong Pokemon because we're kind of screwed. We need experience here. That's what, oh no. What? No way. How did uh, you have the key? Lucky the door was meaningless. I'm the loser in this after all. This is no time for self pity. I got to alert the commander. See, you you told me where the. You, it's, it's your own fault, bro. Oh, yeah, there's Mars. Looking good, Mars. How you doing, girl? How you doing? Oh, God. Uh, well, here we go. Oi! This ain't no fun and games. The proper work, I tell you. The proper work, I tell you. Dingoes! <laughs> I'm sorry. Hopefully, if there's um, if there's any people from Australia watching, do not take this as offense. I'm just kidding. Relax. Just joke with you. Like, cause I, when, I, when I read these things, I'm like, wait, oi! So they tell you, dingoes! I got a Krabby, alright? Alright, mate! I got a Krabby! Oh! It's gonna kill your team! That's actually kinda scary. Um. Should I stay in? With Carla? Mmm, no 14 Krabby. Now, it definitely does not. It doesn't have guillotine, I think. Krabby. Uh, uh, yeah, we, we, we get to go, we get to go, we get to go, uh, we get to go. Now, I'm up. It's level 9, though, I'm not sure, um. Let's go with Zoe, actually. Oh, he has Bubble, never mind. Uh, well, we could go for it. Actually, I'm dumb, I'm dumb, I'm dumb, I'm dumb, I'm dumb. Let's go into Cell Shock. Okay, speed, some of these battles will be up, so let's go for Bite. Yeah. Oh, critical hit, Shell Shock, let's go. Carl's gonna be level 10, so that's cool. So it's gonna gain some experience as well. But I'm right now focusing on the team of leveling up um, Carl, I mean, leveling up Carla, because she's gonna be such, like I said, such a valuable team member to this team. I don't want to lose her, because honestly, I would rather lose any other Pokemon on this team. Well, not my Star and not my Neptune, but honestly, Carl's gonna be such a huge part of this team like because we're so weak like i've said many times now weak to grass and she resists that quad like okay four times so that's insane <laughs> collecting electricity from the valley windworks that's our mission yo yeah. okay fuck by the way your outfits they ugly the challenge but team guy can go yeah superman combusket oh no fire type um you know what? A starter versus a starter. Go shell shock. Yeah. Uh, are we recording? Because I would have wasted 33 minutes of my life, but we're recording. Yeah. Life's all good. Yeah. And we. Do we actually just get burned by a? Wow. Okay. Uh, water gun. Go. Yeah. And we don't have a burn heal. Whoa! Almost kills. God damn. We don't know. Oh, that's actually kind of scary. Um, War gun. Yo. This up. Oh no. Rotom. Are you kidding me? Uh, and we can't hit it with. Oh no 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 no! We actually can. Zoe's gonna come in handy. Oh no. Uproar. I was thinking she's gonna come very much in handy because we could do Aurora Sleuth and then attack her with um, normal type moves. But I'm gonna go into Neptune because he's doing. Yeah, hell no. Uh, Dragon, Ball, Dragon Breath. Yeah! Dragon Breath! Critical hit! Let's go. Let's go. Shell Shock's gonna. Shell Shock's gonna grow into level 20. That's gonna be good. Shell Shock wants to learn to move Rapid Spin. Mmm. It could remove hazards and all that kind of stuff. And lead seed to be fair, but I'm gonna honestly say no. Give up on rapid spin. Honestly, no. We're having better moves on it right now. I don't like kids who always have to be tough trainers. Well, too bad. 
Now, I could run back to the... Or do we have a... We don't have a berry that could heal us. We don't have anything... Mm. Now, what we could do is... I was thinking, do I run back to the Pokemon Center? Or do I just heal up uh, Shell Shock? Mm, I think I'm gonna take... Yeah, I think I'm gonna run back, because... Yeah, I don't want to take a risk. Let's go. Quickly, yeah! Uh, with super speed! Yeah. Alright, um... Go quickly here. Uh, heal up. Yep. There we go. Do, 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 do. Interesting how I can't... I'm holding the speed up button, like, down with the speed up button, and I cannot run. Like, I'm running to the uh, to the right, and I can't actually speed up, even though I'm holding speed up. That's insane. I don't know why it's doing that, but oh well. Hey. So, folks, you come here often, yeah. We do a galactic, yeah. We steal Pokemon, yeah. Yo! <laughs> I'm sorry, the, I mean, I like this music, it, it's, it's kind of catchy. Anyways, uh, let's get going. Uh, oh, now we're facing... We're facing off against... Um, Commander Mars. That was, yeah, her name was Mars, yeah. <laughs> I'm one of the Team Galactic's three uh, command, uh, commanders. No way, that's one of four commanders. My name is Mars. We've been trying to create a new world that's better than this one. But people have shown little understanding about what we do. You don't understand either, do you? It's a little saddening. So, let's have a battle to decide what we should do next. If I win, you leave. If you win, we, Team Galactic, will leave. Yo, straightforward, just being like that, let's go! Team Command Mars, what's up, girl? Looking good! The Red Iron Command Mars, but I think she's gonna be really strong, though, because she has super. Wall Rain! Level 17! Okay, let's go! Do 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 Yo, but that damn level 17 wall ring. I hope her next level Ice Ball. Oh, this is gonna turn bad. Real, this is gonna get, turn ugly real quick. Like real quick. Hold on. Please paralyze. Oh no 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 no. Okay, that did eight, that did Oh no 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 um 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 wait 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 I'm gonna have that bottom here hold on does I I I'm I again my mind is being completely blank but doesn't like doesn't water resist ice I mean if I do a water attack on an ice type that's neutral but the other way around I'm pretty sure it's offensively it's good against dragon flying and grass types and ground types but against ice and water, it's not very effective. Okay, okay, that's good, that's good. I mean, again, a Pokemon Master that doesn't remember, but honestly, because I'm thinking in the sense that... Because I know that water against ice is just neutral, but I was thinking it's the same way around. But this shouldn't do anything now. That's a critical hit! Are you kidding me? Um... Uh... Heal with a potion. Gonna, this is interesting. Um, that's like times four now. Oh god. Uh, again, po uh, potion up. This is his last ice uh, ice ball. I think. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But it is what it is. No! 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 Oh my god! You are not doing this to me! Okay, 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 okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Thank god we have some... Now he hits with the water gun. Oh, you son. That's it. 
my god. Holy crap! Uh, bite him. Hang! Hang! Bite him! Hang! Okay. And now he just... And now he does not do a ice ball, okay. Holy fuck, that did. Oh my god, that did. Fif that did 52, like, oh, not almost. He only did almost 50 damage. We almost lost our starter. Jesus. And then people can say, oh, it's, you always heal too much. Yeah. It will be dead. <laughs> oh my god. Yang! Fucking bite him. Okay, flinch. Yes. Okay, bite him again. Yeah, he, she did not heal. That's good. Okay. Oh god, we almost lost the starter. That was a wall rain, level 17. And I think our ace is gonna be level 19 or 20. I have a think it's gonna be level 20. Let's hope it's nothing big. Okay. Her last Pokemon is good. Wish Cash. Now. It is part. Water. I do. It, it doesn't have any water absorbing. Yeah, it does not. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. But that's a critical hit. Oh, critical hit. Yikes. Oh. Let's bite him. Oh wow. Mud bomb. Accuracy dropped. Um, gotta think this one through. Hold on. Um, wish cash. Wish cash. Cause I'm thinking, is there a way we can outsmart the wish cash? His water gun, mud bomb. There's a possible. Hold on. No, wait. This is. I gotta look at treasure four. Um. Oh, there's a possible chance he has sent headbutt. Uh, water gun mud bomb. Hmm. I'm thinking what if we're, if it's time for, um, Terry to shine? Because he can't hit us with water type or ground type move. So the only way he could hit it with us is with a grass type move. I mean, not with a, with Zen headbutt. Or do I stay in with Shell Shock? But it's level 19 though. I'm gonna heal up the potion. I was thinking maybe a little bit over leveled, you know, with our Pokemon, but no, we're literally on par. Okay, um I'm gonna I'm gonna do something stupid. I'm gonna go into Terry, and I hope he does not have um, a like Zen headbot or something. Bob, yes, does affect Terry. That's what you get. Um, Supersonic, please land. What a god. Okay, that's not very effective. We should. Oh, are you kidding me? And we miss. Oh, uh, lovely. Um. Back to shell shock then. Oh, oh my lord. Um, poor gun. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Um, I feel like we need uh, somehow. We need a safe switch in to the point where we go into Neptune. I know he has done an amnesia, but at the same time. took 18 points of damage, so if that is a crit, then we're going to lose, um, shell shot. Okay, do not crit me. If you crit me now, I swear to god, I will scream. Okay, 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 and now we go into, again, if he goes now for a water gun, we lose Terry. If you go into water gun, if, not into water gun. If you go into Terry, we're gonna lose. Okay, uh, I'm gonna do the thing. I'm gonna heal up with super potion. We're gonna we're gonna play this smartly. We're gonna play this smart. So we're gonna go for a super potion, heal up. Okay, he's gonna go for another mud bomb. That's fine. Do not crit. Okay, that's fine. Then we go 
a potion up on Terry so that we get a safe switch in into Terry so that he goes for a water gun. Uh, that's fine. We go into Terry now. He's gonna go for a what? I mean, mud bomb, probably. I hope. Yes. Okay. Good. We go into Terry, and then we're gonna go into Neptune, and he's gonna go for a water gun, prop, uh, prop, probably, because that's his only damaging move. And Neptune is gonna resist that quad, and we're gonna go for water pulse, water pulse, water pulse, water pulse. Yes. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Um. And I think Puck is definitely faster, yeah. Okay, or Neptune is faster. War Pulse, there we go. A crit! My boy! Neptune, let's go! Oh, he has a Warberry. Oh, whatever. Got it. Bomb, bomb. Do not lower my accuracy. Are you kidding? Oh my god, okay. Um... That was a crit. He crit me back after I crit him. What is... I mean, he has low HP, so I mean, we, we are good. We are in the clear, I think. Oh, War Gun. This motherfucker is gonna go for War Gun when he could've gone for a Mud Bomb. Oh my god. Uh, do not miss War Gun. War Pulse. Yes! There we go. Okay, that should kill. I'm not sure. It does not kill. He goes for Warp Pulse. Warp Pulse again. Do not miss. Yes. This should KO. It does. There we go. Good. Whew. We gotta use some strategy. Goddamn. I try to level up to level 11. Okay. We need to level up our team lock. Oh. Terry learned Wing Attack. That's actually good. That's good. That's good. Whew. Hmm. This, can't, this can't be it. I lost. You. You brat. 15, oh, that's actually good, pull my money. We gotta buy some more potion. Oops, I messed up, th I messed that one up. That's all right though, I quite enjoyed our battle. Oh, look at that. Uh, an evil team that's actually quite all right. <laughs> my, my, you lost a child, will you? But no matter, we collect the plenty, we, we collected plenty of electricity. With the power we obtained, we can do something quite spectacular. It seems quite obvious to me, Sharon, the genie, uh, Sharon, uh, Sharon. Sharon? Sharon? Karen? Sharon? Sharon? Oh, I don't know. Sharon. Sharon, the genius even the boss recognizes. Now, Mars, we should be going. Will you shut it? The boss is the only person in the world who's allowed to order me around. You can keep quiet around me. You only joined us recently. Don't think you're important. Goddamn girl! Girl telling her- Girl telling him who's boss around here! Yo! I guess it's time to say goodbye and leave for t the time being. Whew. Team Galactic, they were saying they had to gather Pokemon and energy no matter what. It was for creating a new universe, or so they claimed. Nothing they said made any sort of sense to me. I can tell you how grateful I am for you saving me. I mean, it's funny how they say nothing made any sense of what they're saying when he just literally said they're about to create another universe. Again, is that something we can do in real life? No, but this is the Pokemon world. I'm like, I think we should be worried. <laughs> but people are like, oh, we don't get that. It's like, we should be worried. <laughs> but yeah, I can finally see my little daughter again. Oh, look at that, little girl. Uh, little girl, uh, Papa. Yeah, Papa, you're stinky. Go shower now, stinky. Oh yeah, cause she has a, stun a uh, skunk tank, usually. Ah, oh, sorry. I mean, oh, Wish Crash maybe smells as well, who knows? Oh, sorry. Uh -huh. They had they had me working nonstop. Thank you, trainer. You made those bad people go away. I think the balloon Pokemon will come with it again. Okay, that balloon Pokemon, aka Drift Balloon, better not take the little girl away because the Pokedex entry said like it always takes small children away to the afterlife. So, um, little girl, you better not go near that ball Pokemon. Okay, it will take you to the afterlife. Aka, it will take you to a place where you won't see your dad. So. Do not. Which is actually kind of creepy. So there's, it's a good thing when people say like, oh, Pokemon should be in the real world, all that stuff. It's like, yeah, maybe some of them would be all right. Most of them, no. The world would be completely screwed. Ah, yes, it's you, yes. 
I've heard that the Team Galactic appear at this power plant. I have therefore come running. So Team Galactic, where are they? You have run the rough, you say. You're a trainer, but... Very well, I shall go investigate inside. Because I am... The Potato! <laughs> Magnificent! Yes, it is. What have you said? What you, what you have said? It is all true. Superb! Though you are young, you are a trainer through and through. Very well. I shall pursue the culprits. I have received tips that the Team Galactic hideout is in Eternal City. Therefore, I must be off. So yeah, that's the de next thing we're gonna head uh, off to is Eternal City. But I'm gonna go and heal, and now we can actually get. I think what I'm gonna do is get our encounter for this episode, like Valley Windworks. Oh, first, I'm gonna buy potions. Holy shit. Like, yikes. I recorded, I think. Oh, we recorded 50 minutes. Oh, there goes my 25 minutes to 40 minutes episode. Oh, well, 50 minutes. Lovely. Uh, we're gonna buy. Three super potions. And three. I'm gonna buy, yeah, three potions. Again, we don't have that much money, but it is what it is. But I'm gonna go and try and get our encounter for. The Valley Wind works. First, I'm gonna go heal up though. So, yeah. And after that, we got in our encounter. That's where I'm gonna end the episode. So, I think that's good. Or then I'll just end the episode right now and get the two encounters next episode and do all that. Yeah. You know what? I think I'll end the episode right now. I'm just gonna save and then I'm gonna end the episode because I feel like that's better because. We recorded for 50 minutes. I want to try to keep this a little bit lower. So we're just going to save here. Going to end the episode right here. And we're going to next time. Next time we're going to uh, do. Like catch the Pokemon at the Valley Windworks. And also catch the Route 200 Fire Encounter. Go into Eternal Forest. Do all that stuff. And head towards Eternal City. So that's what we're going to do next episode. And yeah, that's better. We're going to end this episode right now. So. You know as I always say. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video. Then do not forget to hit that like button. And make sure you guys follow me on Twitter and turn on notifications down below by hitting that bell icon by subscribing to this channel so that you know when I upload more videos. And as always, I will see you guys next time. See ya!